Hi, um, let me introduce myself. My name's Gavin Hall. Uh, my company's Perfect Grass Limited. Uh, I'm the owner and I'm also uh, an installer. I've uh, been installing now for over 19 years. Uh, we were one of three or four companies in England when the uh, yeah. artificial grass first got introduced. Um, what I want to do in this video is to show you uh, a few bits and bobs, what's, what, what sort of, you know, where the market's going, where we are sort of with sustainability. Uh, I also want to quash a few uh, uh, misconceptions and myths about artificial grass. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you a few bits and bobs that hopefully will change your mind. Um, personally, I think it's one of the best products on the market. Uh, if it's correctly laid, badly laid, possibly one of the worst. Some of the things we see, I just look at and think, oh my God, that's horrendous, especially on the front of the house. However, a good lawn, uh, a small garden like the one behind me. Um, I, I, I personally wouldn't know another product that serves the same purpose. OK, so uh, let me show you a few bits. OK, so let's uh, start looking at some of these misconceptions. One of the main ones I get is, does it melt? OK, obviously I can't tell the sun can come out today. All I can tell you is when it was 37 degrees two years ago, I sat on this lawn, I stood on it on bare feet with my dogs and we didn't move. Here we go, I'm pouring a boiling kettle on it. That's as close as I can get. So I poured a whole boiling kettle on it and it's sitting there. I can't touch it yet because it is so hot. Ah, Jesus, that is so warm. Right, let's just rub that off. Uh, let's see, there you go. Water's just passed through it. The grass is hot, it's just cooling off. Back to normal, so there's no change in the actual fibre. Other misconceptions? It sheds fibre. Very bad for the environment because it's constantly shedding fibre. Again, if you get a good quality product, none of these will actually apply. Look, pulling that as much as I can, nothing's coming out. Okay, so that that's for those two. Drainage. It's bad for the environment because of drainage. We're actually at a well-laid lawn with a good base. This has four inches underneath it, a tight one and granite dust. Uh, it's a very high quality product uh, it drains something like uh, 70 litres per square metre per minute so I've just pulled five litres on it there we go gone so that's got to be better than a, a tarmac drive a patio where the water runs off into channels and goes straight into drainage I'm creating a whole soak away area where water can sit before it gets into the ground um, what about uh, fading does it fade this this is a bit worn out flatten this grass it needs a clean uh, and a good brush so let me just brush that up here's a new product it's the same product it's from a different batch but as you can see there's no discoloration there's no fading if anything it gets slightly darker over time so that's another myth dispelled um, let's have a look at a couple of other little things um, People talk about sustainability. Yes, we can't keep going on forever with, 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 with a product that's going to end up in going in landfill. Um, we, we need to come up with something. And, and we have. We've come up with this. This is the first fully recyclable artificial lawn. It is made of one single plastic. Polypropylene top, polypropylene bottom. Completely sealed, so fantastic with animals. I think it's had this chalk extracted out the base well as well. Um, so the idea behind this is, at the end of its use, it be, can be collected up, cut into bits, bailed up, uh, sent back to the manufacturer. The manufacturer can then pop it in a machine, recycle it, um, make new artificial grass, or even turn it into granules. So I kind of think that's just dis dis dispelled. Um, the misconception people have that it sheds fiber it's bad for the bad for the environment um it's not <laughs> it physically isn't it it, it 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 serves a purpose um the other thing that people go <laughs> and mention a lot is it kills insect life what you've got to think is because it's a free draining base and it's let water flow through the soil underneath still lives um what does this entail well worms actually like a free draining soil. Worms only come to the surface when the soil underneath becomes so flooded. 
So if we pull that back and you have a look under there, they are worm casts and they are coming out from the inside of the timber. What happens is the worms come up the inside of the membrane because the membrane's cut short of the fixings, pushes up and then you get worm casts all around the edge. So that says to me there's a healthy uh, population of worms underneath this lawn. Uh, other things we can do, um, it's not just about chucking down an artificial lawn, a composite deck and literally having no garden uh, for, for insects or birds etc. It's all about the planting. We've got roses, we've got lavender, we've got rosemary, we've got agapanthus, we've got mint, we've got ivy, we've got arum lilies and we've also got a log pole there for insects. Look, look at that behind there. That's <coughs> perfect haven for any insects, grasses, ferns, another log pile, there we go, uh, here we go, look at hydrangeas, roses, another big leaf pile for insects, buddleia, fantastic for butterfly, roses, bees, grasses, lots of grasses, we have lots of different bits of bobs growing through here, all this fence here is roses, bees love it, so it's about consideration. It's about putting things in for insects. Um, don't forget an artificial lawn shouldn't be your garden. It's part of your garden. Just use your brain, you know, even if you want the space, just have a corner area. Uh, it doesn't take much. Uh, and as a product, we want this product to be successful. We want this product to be uh, part of a future gardens. Thank you. So I hope you liked our short video. Uh, there's a few good points in there. Uh, I hope I've dispelled a few misconceptions. Just to summarise, um, a good quality artificial lawn, well laid, is an a absolute must for, for any, in, any garden, especially small areas like this one. Uh, it's free draining. Water passes through so it helps with any sort of drainage. The dogs love it. Uh, it's all sealed so no urine is absor absorbed into it so it can be easily cleaned off. Uh, we've planted around the edges, so we have fantastic areas for insects. Um, we've shown you that worm life continues underneath it. Uh, we've also dis dispelled the, uh, the, the common myth that it melts by pouring boiling water onto it. We've shown you a, a, a new, new sample alongside it that shows that it hasn't faded. Uh, and we've also now shown you a recyclable product, so there is no real need to keep bashing the artificial grass market personally myself i think it's a must uh we can now push towards you know i don't think we'll ever get to 100 percent sustainability but uh 90 95 of the stuff that goes in our skip going forward or goes back to the manufacturer to be recycled it, it is sustainable um we are thinking of landfill uh and we are thinking of uh, the environment by um pushing these d different backings and different ideas and different plastics it's not just about throwing down uh, the cheapest products we can find uh, i personally believe a tax on chinese imports and poor quality artificial grass is a must uh, for the industry to survive um, where else is selling vast amounts of the stuff that w without any real thought of, of, of the damage some of it does uh, but again if you buy high quality you'll get the benefits from it. Get a good company to install it. Uh, and that grass will, will, will do you, you know, for 10 to 15 years. Uh, there was a survey in Witch magazine recently, and I've, to be honest, never seen so much nonsense in all my life. They said 44% of people that had artificial grass wanted to uh, go back to turf and regret ever having it laid. Well, in 19 years, I've never had one person come up to me and say, Gavin, can you change it back to real lawn? So it's utter nonsense. A lot of the stuff in the press is just physically lazy journalism. We've shown you today um, what real artificial grass is about, what a decent install is about, uh, and what a bonus it is to your garden. Look at that. And I can tell you from experience, in the summer, you can't see the fences for, for colour. Um, enjoy your garden. Don't forget to plant some plants. Um, you know, have seating areas, but a nice artificial grass green, green area can really, really work for you. Thank you.